That's fine. I got the health potion. That's all I want. Ooh. There are several data points. How long as King Itaman languishes at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a Sun King must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there, clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? So may quit being dramatic. That is a true statement. Never does the sun show pity. And yet, when my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the chosen of the sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself or another. Okay, heal us. up in 
inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body, stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Okay. Wait. Examine. Examine what? What am I examining? The mural of Meridian and the spire. This armor. There's only one man big enough to wear this. Helis. This is shelter. Not exactly fancy. What a difference of a fanatic ah. make to the same it's nightmare. Extravagance is his brutality. The same. So you know. Reality. Just enough to want to stop it. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates. Debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like in a glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every day break in exile is a mark of failure. But the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken. The profligates slaughtered. A true king. Restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All right, guess we're out of here. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that Tormek? Bother. Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They built some kind of structure around it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. Feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. <sighs> All right, guess not that way. casing now Aloy do as I say or all is lost Jesus Christ. Get 
No! Shit. <laughs> I didn't know where to go. I just kind of saw white, a white ledge and I was like, yep, that, that looks like a good place to jump to, but I could reach it. Okay. Ow. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Ow. God damn it. God damn it. This is gonna this is gonna be a chore, isn't it? Alright. No way. Yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Go, go, go. No way. Uh. Almost out of it. Are we? Come on. No, don't sit. The sun can't save you. Are you kidding me? Got it. Almost there. I noticed. Keep moving. More clips ahead. Bridge in sight. Excuse me. That's the way out. I know. Oh, fuck. going but you survived you knew Hades was there and you sent me to him I won't deny I risked your life but it was the only way now with the focus network down we can both get what we want access to the secrets of zero dawn I'm past trusting you with secrets good that means you're wising up trust is for fools it shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Sunlings, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. I need a fire. There's apparently a fire this way. I gotta save. Ah, uh, 
hello, friend. 